Speaking of trains. Ho ho! The Western Fast Freight. This is a K-Line train. All right, this was my best buy at the place. I paid $20 for this, and wow, wow, wow. Wait till you see this. And, oh! <laughs> How we doing today? Yes, it's Robert Zay, but the auctioneer extraordinaire, and wow, wow, wow. What an unbelievable video. Guys, I go and garage sale, and pff, you won't believe some of the finds I got. What a great buy and unbelievable stuff. So watch the video. Take a look at that. Also, we go through the rest of the stuff the elderly man ended up bringing to me to get rid of. He didn't want it in storage anymore. He didn't want to have to have someone else deal with it if he passed away. One of the ways I make money and both of these ways, buying stuff at a garage sale cheap, getting stuff on consignment from the gentleman, selling it for him. So many great things you'll see in this video. I appreciate you watching. Once again, give us a thumbs up. Watch the video from beginning to end. And the stuff you see you can buy at www.secondsense.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell. Get all your notifications. You don't want to miss a thing. And I appreciate you watching. Hopefully, you enjoy the video and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Ladies and gentlemen, we had an off-site auction and we're setting up. I'm driving down the road and I see a garage sale. I don't usually stop at garage sales. But something told me to turn around and stop at this garage sale. And I did. For some reason the video didn't work. Got corrupted. I don't know. I wish I had the video for you. But I'm going to show you some of the awesome finds. First I'll show you the first thing. Was this. It's in the original box. It's in tough condition the box. It says traffic control. No clue what year this is. But just by looking at the vehicles. You know it's old. Probably 1950s. And then look at this, 10 litho, two little cars in there. And I asked the guy, I said, how much you want for this thing? He goes, uh, five bucks. Here's one that sold on eBay for $89.99. But once again, this one had all three cars. The box looked a little newer. I don't think it's worth that much, but it's worth more than five bucks. I said, five bucks. Time to start making a pile. So I started making a pile and I'm going to show you some of the other awesome buys I got. For five bucks for that one and I didn't even dicker with the guy I didn't bicker nothing I said you know what I'll pay his money because he was asking good prices let's show you another one this one the last things I got and it's a split window Corvette stingray my son's gonna buy me one of these one day when he sells a bunch of stuff it looks like it's almost new old time I mean that's all wrapped up nice and let's take a look at this it's a candy apple red What do you think about that, son? Nice. This is actually a VHS tape rewinder. You know what a VHS tape is? Um, like one of those things you put in, like a yeah. It used to, like, it's a like box. it used to be like a DVD player, but these they used to be on the tape. Yeah. And this you put the tape in and rewind it, I believe. See, VHS video cassette yeah. auto rewinder. Yeah. So it's an awesome cross collectible there. Very cool piece. I paid 10 bucks for that. A little bit more than I wanted, but it was the last thing I had 90 bucks. I was trying to make it even 100. Then I got Here's two that sold, one for 50 bucks of free shipping, one for 17.99 with $15 shipping. So the cars, I would say the thing's probably at least worth 25 bucks, 30 bucks. Then I got this thing right here. Wings of Texaco. I think another $10 bill here. And very cool. Let's see if I can open it up real quick show you I didn't even open it there I had I never really opened it so hopefully it's in there <laughs> I bought it I felt like it's in there look at that it's missing it. no. no it's not missing everything yeah so it's got the propellers everything it's all made of metal cool piece it's got a little stand for it so I think I paid ten dollars for that. Here's two that sold on eBay, both around fifty dollars. They had twenty dollars shipping, so I should at least get around fifty dollars for the one I bought. And then look at this! Holy smoke! Sports car kit. This is, I think, from the '90s right here. Unassembled. I think I paid twenty dollars for this piece. And the sports car kit. You got both cars in there. 
new old stack. Let's take it open. Hold on a sec. Mm -hmm. I don't think that bird's ready to fly. <laughs> Not yet. And that's one of the models right there. And there's two in here. How about Tony built? Brand new. Let's see, the date should be on here Look for the Porsche. Let's see if you see a date on here. I don't see a date. I just know that it's old, it's new, and they still make kits like this today. And the kits are worth this is easily, I'm going to say it's a hundred dollar bill. But easily fifty dollars all day long on eBay in two seconds. So you put this up for fifty bucks, it'll be gone. I see them sell for eighty, but those I haven't seen this set. This is the older set, so I know it's worth more money than the newer sets out there. Very cool piece once again. Here's a set on eBay that sold for seventy-five dollars. I'm thinking I should get around fifty bucks for the sealed set. And there's a few more other great buys. You guys ready for this one? Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, 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 what? Look at this old lock right here. Oh, that's a lock. See, you move that for the key. See how old key is? Now, this ain't just a regular lock. You know what makes this lock special? Mm -mm. The initials on the back right here. Ready? See what that says? PCRR. -R. R -R. You know what RR -R stands for? No. Railroad. Huh? So this is a railroad lock. So we'll just look up PCRR. -R. PC could be, per, per, I'm thinking Pacific Central. So it's probably from the Pacific Central Railroad. I was wrong. I believe it's actually from the Philadelphia and Columbia Railroad. This is all I could find about it. This is a lock is an antique lock, and people love old locks, and they love old railroad stuff. Cross collectible, once again, I think I paid five bucks. Here's a lock that sold for $62.99. Another one that sold for $78.99. Here's one that was put up for auction on eBay, only sold for eight bucks. It's better buy it now item for eBay. Oh, yeah. Take a look at this. That's Lucky Joe. And this is a glass bank. Look at that $45 price tag on there. And the Lucky Joe. You put your money in there. Save up the cash. But probably, I didn't look it up, probably $40, $50 bill on the Lucky Joe bank. I overestimated the price on this. Here's one that sold for $20. And I think here's another one that sold for $10. So I overestimated the price. I think I paid $10 bucks for it. There's one more item. But... You guys will have to wait to see that. I got to go to my house. I took it there. I wanted to show my son. It's unbelievable. And I think I paid $20 for that last item. And easily worth $100 to $150, maybe $200 in the original box. And it's complete. I've seen one sell not complete for $70 on eBay. So I know it's big money. Wow, we found so many great things in this guy. He dropped all this stuff off at my warehouse. He's downsizing. He doesn't want to have to put this stuff in storage. He doesn't want to have to lose it. And if, when he passes away, he doesn't want to have to have one of his family members deal with it. So he contacted us here and unbelievable collection. All kind of vintage goodness from toys, cast iron banks. There's been so many great finds. And what do you guys see? What else we got? And let's see what's in the box first. What do you think? Magic. It's heavy. What? What? We got some bags. We got a Mickey Mouse backpack, it looks like. Mm. We got Donald and Goofy. Barbie! In the dream. You want this for school? No. How about this one? You know who that is? Um, no. Woody Woodpecker. Okay. There's Barbie. Oh, oh look at this one. It would be so cool for school. Oh, wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have a head on your back. It would be so cool. Someone's like, oh, we got a wild animal in school. Ah! Uh, <laughs> There's a shell bag. Then we got a oh, Nemo. She can do anything. I never heard of that. Me neither. Oh, look at this puppy power. I did it at the hospital. And another Barbie bag. Oh, my gosh. This one's gigantic. Look at that bag. Vinyl bag. Barbie. So, tons and tons of bags. 
Oh, it's cracking. It's, we'll make it. Oh, no, there it goes. Woo! All right, Woo! now we got a whole box, look at this. And it's a Space Cadet. And these are reproductions, and uh, but they're still metal lunch boxes, brand new. They were made in China. Not as cool as the original ones, but still. We got eight of them right here. So even at 10 bucks a piece, that's $80. 20 bucks a piece, you see what I'm saying? Making money. And that's one of the ways I make money. People bring stuff in on consignment and I sell it for them because I can sell stuff better than most people. I have an audience across the entire United States, actually the entire world. And we ship everywhere. Sometimes we'll ship out 80, 90 packages in one week for an auction, ladies and gentlemen. So this is all HO train, little model stuff. Speaking of trains, ho ho! The Western Fast Freight. This is a K-Line train. Very cool. I'm gonna assume at least the $50 bill. Let's see what the price tag up there was. 75. And then look at this brand new. See, oh, even better than I thought. No way. It's the circus train. <gasps> Ringling Barnum's and Bailey Circus. The Ringmaster. Very cool. I love the circus. I love the circus train. And it's brand new sealed. Bachman. And you just look up that number right there. 00714. Put in Bachman's there on eBay. It'll pop right up. I'll tell you what it's selling for. This is brand new in the box. Probably at least another $50 bill. So $100 here, $100 there. It just keeps adding up, adding up. I'll sell this guy's collection for him. And we got some boxes under the table. Ooh, there's another one of these. LGB. This looks like the little caboose. And these are not cheap. And once again, they got a number right there. Easy to look up. Anything brand new in the box is always easy to look up. We got a scooter here. Look at this. New Block City. Plan your build your own churches, garages, homes, factories, schools, stores, and more, Vaughn. <gasps> Look at the dad smoking the pipe. Hey, Sean. Keep building. Looking good. This looks like an old sewing machine. It's all wrapped up. Oh, yeah. Pull it out of here. This little thing here. And this is a white rotary sewing machine. It's electric, probably 1930s, 40s. You can tell by the plug. But it's a portable one, makes it more valuable. The big tall ones, people don't really want that much. But these short ones, easy to sell. Oh wow. Look at that. Shirley Temple. It was my mom's birthday today. I should have gave her that. She loves Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple. More Shirley Temple books. Oh, cool. The Rocketeer. That was a, a movie by Disney. And this is a puzzle. It looks like we got more puzzles in here. And puzzles are collectible. People frame them up. And look at this. We got Woody Woodpecker puzzle. That's a hard puzzle. It's a hard puzzle, isn't it? 1980, right there. Is the date. And we got another puzzle in here. <laughs> Bert and Ernie. My friend Ernie runs through the town, upstairs and downstairs in his nightgown, calling through the windows to everyone he sees. I can count to 20 and say my ABCs. Or I can, I'm sorry. And say my ABCs. Well, I can count to 20, but I'm still working on my ABCs. What about you, Bon? No. You know your ABCs yet? Yeah, but I can't count them backwards. Oh. I can't do them backwards either, so. Must be uh, hereditary. Look at this Chitty Chitty Bang Bang puzzle. You ever see Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Yes. See? Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Oh, look at this old Cinderella and the glass slipper. There's all kind of stuff in here. Cinderella, the three bears, 
Tom Thumb. And you can just tell by how, I mean, you can tell they're old. Three little kittens. And let's open Cinderella here. Let's see if we can get a date. This one has a little water standing right there. And I do not see a date there or there. But just how it's made, I mean, it's definitely, definitely old, old, old. Very cool books. Then we got Dr. Seuss's. We got little golden books. And like this is called a little golden book. And what you want to do is if you look inside these, a lot of times like inside the binding here, it'll have a number. And I'll have to go to the middle. This one might not. I can't see it. Usually there's a letter. If it's A, it's a first edition. B, second edition, so on and so forth. But all kind of books in here. And lots of old books too. And all these books right here, we got good old Charlie Brown. Snoopy! Cowboys and the Cattle Trails. And here's the books about California. So those are cool. Oh, more backpacks, Vaughn. The Cincinnati Reds. Tinkerbell! Right here, this used to be our uh, uh, the girl basketball team for the WNBA in Cleveland. Cleveland Rockers, Rolling Rock, Cars, more cars, Lightning McQueen, and Tinkerbell. So all kind of vintage backpacks. This guy brought us so much stuff, so many cool things, lots of trains. Only problem is half the stuff my son wants. So. Oh, look at that Looney Tune bag. That's leather. That is nice. You can wear that to school, kid. You're pretty cool then, aren't you? Sylvester and stuff. And then look at Toy Story 2, Launch Pail, Toy Story. So many cool things. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, hit that bell, get all your notifications. Never know what we're going to see. Never know what we're going to find. I appreciate you guys watching. So many great, great things. Check out our other videos. And I got to thank my son for being the video photographer today. Did a great job. So. Let him know in the comments how we did. And uh, once again, you never know what you're going to find. Have a wonderful day. All right, this was my best buy at the place. I paid $20 for this. And wow, wow, wow. Wait till you see this. Woo, look at this. The Sleepy Baby Bear. This is a Linemar toy. Japanese, 1950s, maybe 60s. It's battery operated. And um, these old vintage toys like this, very, very cool. Everyone likes the battery ops. And he sleeps, he wakes up, rises, and opens his eyes. He yawns and cries, he lays back down. It's a sleepy baby bear. Very cool. The graphics on the box, just those by themselves, are very cool. And then let's take a look inside. I paid $20 for this. You can see there was a dollar. Someone wrote on there a long time ago. They wrote on the box a little bit right here wrote on the box but hey that happens and oh wow look at how awesome that is the condition is unbelievable and the greatest thing about this ladies and gentlemen you'll see them out there online but this has the original clock and the clock basically would spin around as the bear as the battery op goes on so the clock would sit up here and then you see a clock actually gets locked into place, right like that, except for when it's spinning. And let's take this out of the package. I'm gonna take the clock. Oh, I'm gonna leave the clock out there. All right, that's what it looks like out. And let's see. Let's see, this is a tin litho here. So there is, and you can see it's in great condition here. All the fuzz on there, not scratched up. There's the on-off switch. There's a little candle on the bed here. Let's take a look on the back of the bed. Oh, look at a little mouse. Right here, you'll see it's a Weimar right there, Japan. Very cool. And look at there's the little daddy bear, maybe. There's the shoes. So, the sleepy time bear. You can see how the clock stays up on top of there. And then, what would happen was this would go, Ooh. and then watch the eyes. Hold on. I try to put a battery in there. Gonna get any action, 
Once again, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for to subscribe? We're going to see cool vintage toys like this. Once again, I paid $20 for this, and I'll show you what it's worth here in a minute. I appreciate everybody watching. Thank you guys so much. Once again, if you can give it a thumbs up, anything, any comments you can leave, anything to help out the algorithm, and if you can watch the video from beginning to end, I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to share it with your friends, and have a wonderful, wonderful, great day ones that sold one for 125 bucks another for 255 dollars i'm thinking mine's at least worth 100 dollars. the condition's awesome unfortunately it doesn't work with the battery